Hi guys, today I'm going to show you guys my pedals configuration. I'm going to tell you what I use for my power, how I connect them, what I use, everything from start to the end. Starting with, we have the Voodoo Labs Dingbat large size pedal board. It includes a heavy duty tour grade soft case and it's made of premium materials and the construction is super nice for long lasting protection of your pedal board and pedals. Voodoo Labs offers a great range of pedal power supplies. The one I use is called the Pedal Power 3 and I use this because first it's super lightweight. Second, you'll never run out of outputs because Pedal Power 3 Plus features two X-Link expansion ports for adding up to 16 isolated outputs. Simply connect a Pedal Power X4 or X8 to X-Link to expand the capacity of your power supply. And the third, it eliminates ground hum and unwanted interaction between pedals. This allows me to connect as many pedals as I want without having any unwanted noise. Okay, moving on. This is Alpha Omega by Dark Gloss Electronics, and I use this for my distortion sound. If you guys have heard Six Hours to Go from Mamoji's album, that's the one I'm using. Now, this one is called Blackhead. It's also a distortion pedal that I haven't tried. It's a new pedal that has been sent to me, so I can't wait to try it. This pedal is called the Aggressively Distorting Advanced Machine by Dark Gloss Electronics, and I absolutely love this. It's a heavy distortion pedal, and it has a touchscreen feature. I have taken out all of my pedals at the moment so I can place the pedals in the order that I would like them to be in for the coming up show. Um, and uh, as you can see, I haven't taken out the Mooger Fugger and Future Impact because I like them to be where they are. I always keep the Future Impact first in my chain and the Mooger Fugger last in my chain. The second one that I uh, like to have right next to Future Impact is OC2 because that's the one I kind of reach out to the most. The third most reached out one is the Brainwaves and the fourth one is Sabina by TC Electronics and the fifth one is uh, the dark glass uh, electronics distortion pedal um, this is the one I use for all my distortion sounds it just offers like so many different distortion sounds that I personally enjoy playing um, and then the sixth in the chain is the Hall of Fame by TC electronic it's a simple reverb pedal it has a lot of shimmer has a lot of um, different uh, reverbs and the seventh one I've put the black head because I want to try it out but if I don't use it I'm going to take it out of the chain um, so yeah I've connected all the pedals at the moment and uh, you'll see the top two pedals I've uh, laid them horizontally only because um, when you place them vertically sometimes the cables are hard to reach they're either short or too long um, so this way uh, they look pretty and I can easily reach them when I want to with my heels um, and for extra protection when I'm traveling, because I usually uh, check my pedal board in and I put it in my suitcase just for extra security. I put these soundproof sponge. You can use any sponge. They don't need to be soundproof, of course, but I put these sponges on top of my pedals and then I put all the cables. Say hello to my backpack, which I call school bag because I just have been calling bags that look like the school bag as I was a kid. So um, I carry the head amp that I sometimes travel with. It's called the Gold Series Vintage Model, the one that I have been using lately. I also love the Marcus 1000 head amp. Um, but I mean, honestly, all the head amps from Mark Bass are great. But this is the one that I've been enjoying lately. I also carry my own uh, Universal Spike Buster slash extension board, if you call it that um because i don't want my pedals to get in touch with any bad power in any of the venues that i play in so it's always the best and risk-free to carry your own hope you guys enjoyed this video ciao for now